Now to warm out an OLED. This is a OLED 65G2. Pretty sure it's the same on the G1, GX and all the others as well. They don't tend to change much on concept. There is a full video guide on LG.com of how to do it with a paper template and so on. I'm not doing it that way, it doesn't suit me. Because you would put stickers on here, stickers on there, line it up. Huge paper template that goes up to an 83 on the wall. But for me, I think if I know where I want the top or bottom of my TV, I can simply attach the bracket to the TV, measure from the top of the bracket to the top of my TV or bottom of the TV, for example, and mark out the bracket that way. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna pop my bracket onto the TV into those slots. So we've got these release tabs, make sure they're released. That's gonna pop in like so. And if the TV was on the wall, it would just slot in he says like that and then I'm going to push the bracket back carefully not squeezing the screen while I do it and that magnet clicks it back and all I need to do is just you can see this gives it leeway where it will slide either way awkwardly okay so obviously I'd put this bracket up level but if we're not quite there we can just adjust it so on sliding the TV on the wall mount there with my tape measure if I know where I want the top of the TV to the top of that bracket I'd call that to be precise about 97 millimeters from the top to there to release the bracket again it is a bit tricky while it's on the TV but I think if I put my fingers between it somewhere and push on the bracket Okay. and that should just pull away like so so idea is when this bracket's attached to the wall we can hook the TV down push the whole thing back also if we want to get cables in after the event we can pull the TV away from the wall with a bracket pop our cables in we've got a huge gap to get behind it and then push it back flat Looking at my wall, where I want the TV to be, the lowest I can be is just above this in-wall centre speaker. I like my TVs nice and low for my own lounge, so I'm going to go maybe a few centimetres above that speaker. Uh, and I can measure up to where I want the top of the TV. I know the total height of that TV is 82 centimetres, so I'm going to get it pretty close to my centre speaker, maybe even just over an inch or so away, three centimetres or so maybe. To the bottom of the TV, maybe maybe five centimeters. Okay, so I'm going to put a mark there at the top, just a light mark with my tape measure there. So I know about 97 mil down from the top of my TV will be where the top of my bracket is. We can see where I've had previous brackets in the past there. Also got my cables coming out of the wall. So unlike the LG video, you would normally attach all your cables to the TV before you mount it. Can't do that because they're actually coming out the wall. I've got 40 mil tubing going down to my devices there. So I can thread cables as and when I want them. In fact, I may even come a bit lower, just looking at it. I'm gonna to come to about there to the top of my TV. 97 mil down to the top of my bracket. And also I want it central on this chimney breast here which is 162 centimetres, so 81 centimetres to the middle. There. So I'm just going to put a level line for the top of my bracket. And a vertical line for the centre. So centre and top for my bracket. Pop my bracket on the wall, centre, and I like to put a spirit level on the top as well, even though you do have quite a bit of play on this bracket itself. And I'll just mark the slots quickly. Oop, left handed. Yep. Okay, so how well those marks show up, I don't actually know. But I've got about 12 fixing points there that I can use if I wish to. So 
So it gives me eight millimeter, 60 mil, eight mil by 60 mil fixings. So I'm gonna try these supplied ones and drill in and just dot those fixings about. I've now used the TV sheet taped under, just under where I'm gonna drill. I've got a dust sheet below that as well on the floor. So the dust should fall down and onto that dust sheet. The fixings are eight mil diameter, but I'm actually gonna drill six mil holes first with my SDS into my brick wall. Then I'm gonna use a conventional drill just to do it to eight mil because I find this is a bit harsh and sometimes it oversizes the holes. Straight into mortar, so that one's no good. Okay, just going to enlarge those holes with my conventional drill. Okay, I'm just going to quickly hoover some of the excess dust out of there as well. bracket and spirit level. I'm actually just going to wind a couple of the screws in first. back on the top just get that level I mean you do get a lot of play with this bracket because the TV rocks about and if I have a screw tip on it even easier so spirit level on the top and I'm just gonna nip it up there Real. now just wind the rest of my fixings in should be pretty much it dust wise I can remove my dust sheets and so on now and one thing I've learned to do is tape it where the TV is going to cover so if the odd bit of paint does peel off it shouldn't be visible peel slowly that's my wires Okay, they also give us this cardboard box which we can wedge in between somewhere to keep the bracket out. I don't know why, because it seems to stay out fairly well on its own. You can wedge it there, it stops you pushing it back by mistake. Make sure the release clips are pushed backwards. Obviously, when the TV's on, we'll clip them back into place. Yeah, going up. Can you guide it? Securing clips there, I'm just going to clip in. Okay. One, two. So it should be secure on there, can't lift it off. I've also got that wiggle room to level it up when I'm finished putting my cables in. Okay. 
So one of the massive flaws on these LG TVs for me, whether it be C2 or G2, especially on this, as it's designed to be a warm out TV, you put a fixed power cable on, you'd think it'd be detachable so you can thread it through, because I've got a pipe in through my chimney breast to get cables to my devices and mains and so on. Also, I don't want a main socket behind, because I want to push, push it nice and flat back. Some people have a few spur outlet that you can wire a cable straight into but also you'd have to cut the plug off for that. So don't know how it affects the guarantee. I haven't had a problem before when it's been customer's TV, so I'm gonna chop that off and thread it through the hole there. Molded plug off. And I'm just gonna put a separate plug on it when I've threaded it through the hole. I've got everything wired up. Okay, because my cables or my existing cables come out the wall to the TV, can't fit the cables to it, mount it that way, so I've had to mount the TV, pull it out like it is, route the cables behind it, which can do quite nicely through those guides, make sure they're not crossed over anywhere, then it should push back nice and flat, he says. That's it. And that magnet should just go back. Okay, spirit level onto the top. Just level that up so it does swing. That's nice and level there. Nice immaculate screen underneath, I hope. 